like we were accustomed to pray. You made us give up our names because you then were the schoolmaster and we were going to be your slave or your subject. So you gave us a name. I can't say your Indian name. I could say it if I wanted to, but I'll call you Pocahontas. <laughs> or I'll call you what you don't want to call yourself. And then I'll give you a name that uh, connects you to me. Mm. So you're Harry now. Mm. Jimmy now. Johnny now. Lucy now. So what happened to my Indian name? That's right. <coughs> Away with that. You're savages. Mm. We've come to civilize you people. Mm. You savages. Mm -hmm. And we endured that. But we really were the civilized ones because we welcomed them. Mm -hmm. We brought them in. That's right. We gave them food. That's right. We taught them our medicine. Yes. yes. We were the civilized ones. Mm -hmm. And just like the little white boy that went into the church that had murder in his heart for those nine. They came from Europe with murder in their hearts for the indigenous people of this planet. You know what I'm saying is right. How in the hell can you forgive and just say, I forgive? Is that the ignorant type of teaching you have learned from your tormentor? That you must forgive white people, but you will not forgive each other? Mm -hmm. Go look on the reservation now and see how many Indians are broken with their evil toward one another. And they refuse to forgive each other, but they forgive the enemy that came here mm -hmm. and took their land? So, Pope Francis, we appreciate the fact that you act, ask for forgiveness, but you have not repented for what the church did. Now, I would be suspicious of a church. Now, listen to me good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I would be suspicious of a church that raised all that kind of hell. <laughs> and put it on Jesus. Right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that bothers me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That a holy man, a good man, a just man, yes. who never did anything to a human being like what was done to us in his name. Mm -hmm. And you want forgiveness? Without repentance, you want forgiveness without even acknowledging the depth of your evil to us. You want forgiveness without acts of contrition, atonement. My pain is still real. That's right. That's right. It can't go away with just kind words. My pain is real. The pain of our native families yes, sir. is real to this day. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. The pain of the indigenous people that are called Latino or Latina yeah. is real yeah. to this day. That's yes, right. Sir. That's right. The pain of yeah. Africa's children. Yeah is real yes, right. up to this very moment in time. Yes, right. So to ask for forgiveness without the requisite repentance, mm. we can't give it. 
unless you give it to assuage your own sick soul. Mm. Because Jesus said, forgive those who trespass against you so that you can be forgiven. But he never said, forgive Satan. <laughs> I want you to listen carefully yes, to what I'm saying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, Satan doesn't deserve forgiveness. He was created by God to raise hell on the earth until his end had come. I heard a song on TV, on radio the other day. I was sitting in a restaurant, a marriage celebration of my son, and I heard this song. It goes, I'm going to laugh instead of cry. I'm going to live till I die. I'm going to fill my cup until my number's up. I'm going to live, live, live until I die. Mm. Who's singing that? Mm. Who's saying that? See? You having a good time because you know death is coming because that's justice. Mm. But I'm going to fill my cup until my number's up. I'm going to live. Live, live until I die. That's a real song. Check it out on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those who want to live beyond the time of judgment, <laughs> accept responsibility to correct the wrong. Stand with the native people who address their government or the government That's right. never was theirs That's right. for justice. Stand with them. Walk with them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Work with and for them. That's right. That's right. That's right. And that will put you in a good place because you've accepted responsibility. And if you don't, are you any better than your fathers? Do you steal Indian lands mm. by having sex with native people and then claiming you are them? And then step into the position to take their lands from them. You're not doing any different than what your fathers did, so you can't escape the judgment. It's on its way. It's here now for your, the children of those fathers. Right. Is this making any sense yes, to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good sense. Then, now here's the brown and Latino. What language do you speak? Mm. My sister, what language do you speak? Spanish. But you are not a Spaniard. You are from the indigenous people. How did you get to speak Spanish? Because the conqueror of this hemisphere were Spaniards. Some of us who are black and brown and red speak Portuguese in Brazil. But they're not Portuguese. That's right. They are indigenous. That's right. Are we Englishmen? <laughs> oh, oh. We were conquered by English-speaking people, so we speak English. So we wear English names. You wear Spanish names. What is your name, my sister? Huh? Vanessa Gonzalez. That's my sister. <laughs> I love my sister. That's Come on right. now. And I, I wear an English name. Mm -hmm. So we're separated. Spain didn't like England. Portugal didn't like England. So the Spanish 
don't like the French, and the French don't like the Spanish. Right, right, right. So I got a sister from Haiti. Yeah. Beautiful people. But they speak French. But they're not French. Comment allez-vous aujourd'hui? We learn the language of our oppressor. We wear the name of our oppressor. And we are acculturated by the culture of our oppressor. But all of us have one thing in common. We all call ourselves Christians. See what they put on Jesus? <laughs> At the root, we are one. That's right. The branches go in different directions, but at the root, we are one. And now the root is calling us back to itself. We are one. We may look a little different now because we have been under different stress, under different colonial or slave masters or tyrants. But now we must free ourselves from what was and create a new today in order to create a better tomorrow. So I see my native family here dressed like he is. And I honor my family, because many of us mixed. During slavery, we ran away from the plantation, and our native family accepted us. We came in, and we mixed. And so my wife, if you, she were here, her root is Native American, uh, indigenous, I'll put it like that. Yes, sir. And when we went up, to Dakota with Russell Means at the Sundance. Yes, sir. My wife had never been before. And she had a blanket draped over her arm. And when they went into the dance, all of a sudden, she was dancing with them. And she didn't miss a beat. And I'm sitting there looking at her. <laughs> I was, I'm telling you, I was blown out of the box. Here she was, dancing. And as I'm looking at her, she got in touch with her roots. See? And all of us now are called to come back to our roots and grow again into a new creation. And that's why... 10, 10, 15 is so important to us. Yes, sir. The native people, from what I read, own 56.1 million acres of land mm. that is called the reservation. That's a lot of land. Yes, sir. And under that land is $1.5 trillion in material wealth from the minerals that are under your foot. You never abuse the land. You learn to live with nature because you are the natural owner. But our conqueror has abused the land. He has abused the air and the water and has abused the people who are natural to the land. He has forfeited mm. his right to live on the land. Mm. And that's why the scripture says, I take the kingdom from yes. whom I please, God talking, yes. and I give it to whom I please. Yes. It pleases God now that you come back into the ownership of what belongs to you. Yes. And our Mexican family coming across the border. Yes, Donald Trump says, we, we, we must build a wall 
to keep these aliens out. Uh oh. Alien? Come on now. You the alien, That's Trump. Right. We should have built a wall to keep your people out. <laughs> You're coming home. Yes, sir. You see our Mexican family and our family from South and Central America coming in. Yes, sir. And they say, uh, I like Texas. <laughs> well, it's yours. <laughs> it once was. Right, exactly. It will be again. Yes, sir. I, I like Arizona. Yes, right. I like New Mexico. I like. California. Yeah. Right. Uh, I like some parts of Utah and Colorado. Yeah, that's now, this all was yours at one time. That's yes, right. And it will be given back to you mm. as long as you come back to the Creator mm. and stop rebelling against God, then He will grant you the fulfillment of all that the great ones taught you really would come to you at a time like this. Mm. So the black, the brown, the red, the poor whites who are victims of a satanic mind, mm. they're not the architects of the evil. They too are the victims of the evil. So now if they accept responsibility, you got to pass yes. That's right. out of the judgment of this world. Yes, sir. God will absolutely guide you and protect you. But those who feel white supremacy is dying and I'm not going to die with it, mm -hmm. I'm going to become a new person. Yes, sir. That's what the real Jesus is asking like it was in The Godfather. <laughs> Remember when Michael was about to kill all the five yes, family uh, heads? Yes, and he was in church at the uh, christening yes, sir. of his daughter's, I mean his sister's yes. child. Yes, sir. Do you, Michael, <laughs> denounce Satan and all his works? Michael said, I do. <laughs> you got to be asked if you're the children of those mm. who yeah. did this evil, do you denounce that? You notice how poor minister, they made him such a hater, a no good fella, and they've asked me to, to apologize. Apologize for what? Exactly. What did I do that I need to apologize? <laughs> That's right. Come on now. I never harmed a white person. That's right. I never harmed a Jewish person. That's right. I just told the truth. That's right. And if you can't handle the truth, don't blame me. The truth is condemnation of evil. And I'm here to tell that truth and die on it. Mm. Right. I'm just looking for fellow travelers who yeah. want yeah. to speak the truth. <laughs> so when we go to Washington, I would love to see the tribes in these next six or seven weeks. Let's not talk tribes. Come on, come on, Brother Minister. Let's talk nation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A tribe is a great thing. Mm -hmm. God says in the Quran, I created you into tribes and families that you may know one another yes, sir. and not hate one another. Yes, sir. All the tribes are kin. That's right. Let's become a nation. See, and when you come to Washington, you have to speak your truth. Go ahead. I will speak, yes, but
but nothing is greater than the person who is the sufferer to speak his truth. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Beautiful. Speak your truth. Speak to the government of America from your heart. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How could 56 million acres of land be in trust to a government that you can't trust? If it's your land, free it. That's right. And give you the right to the mineral wealth that's under your foot. You don't have to have casinos to be rich. That's right. You are already rich if you know what to do to produce the riches. Don't be timid in going into the earth. That's right. You're not destroying the earth when you mine out of the earth its treasures and put it into the service of self and others. Yes, but you must be careful yes, when you mine out of the earth that you're not creating circumstances that destroy. That's right. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, my teacher, he said, mining out of the earth its treasures is what God wants you to do. And when you mine out of the earth its treasures, you put it into the service of self family, community, nation, world. So don't be afraid you're not hurting the earth by bringing up out of the earth its treasure to enhance the life that you are living on top the earth. Yes, if I'm in Africa, I can make a house made of bush and, and this and that. I mean, it's a... It's a house. That's right. It's a shelter. That's right. So I'm just charged to not be in open air. I got to have a shelter. That's right. But out of that same earth, my Arab family builds billion dollar palaces. Right. They didn't disturb the earth that much, <laughs> took a little marble, <laughs> some wood some gold, mm -hmm. and laid it out. You walk in those kind of places, which I've been in. <laughs> I mean, the palace is so grand. Mm. The, 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 yeah, the, the width of the, what you call the, the walkways in the palace is as wide as this room mm -hmm. or wider, and you could have those heavy trucks going both directions. They wouldn't hit each other wow. in the palace. Wow. I said, man, what is this? <laughs> I see people with wealth going crazy. Yeah. That's yours. The wealth that's under your foot. You don't have to use it silly building a big house, and then when you die, they put you in a little box and put you over here in this little piece of land. <laughs> Come on now. Exactly. You can't take nothing with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why would you steal and rob mm -hmm. to live better right. only to die and leave it to your children who you made stupid because... <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you didn't properly prepare future. I've seen these silly drug addicts. They, they died and had their casket made like a Cadillac. Oh. <laughs> and they, instead of their arms folded like this, they had one arm up with a $100 bill uh, oh. between the fingers, you know. <laughs> but dead as a doornail, huh? <laughs> Can't see, can't hear, can't feel. Somebody come right up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> see, our way, the way of the original people. Yes, sir. Come on. You put the body to the earth. Come on. 
because it came from the earth. You give it back to the earth. <clears throat> you don't preserve it, you know. Who's going to look? <laughs> you came from it, we go back to it. And every time you put life back to the earth in that form, it enriches the earth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it brings up a sperm even stronger because you're enriching the earth. Mm. Death enriches life. And life enriches death. We are silly, but the native people can teach us how to better live. Native people can teach us the proper respect and honor of a female. That's right. Native people do that. Yes, right. So when I was traveling in Africa, I close. I was in the jungle. And I had to go through three interpreters mm. to get my message that I spoke in English wow. to the Langi and the Acholi tribe mm. in Uganda. Mm. Mm. But when I spoke, they heard. Mm. I took a drum and I started making rhythm. Maybe he's really one of us. <laughs> <laughs> I had to show him all my rhythm hadn't gone. You know what I mean? I'm still you. I'm, I'm not as black as I once was, but I'm one of you. <laughs> and they came and they gave me their instruments. They gave me hand uh, handiwork that they did and when Yonajaha's mother took me up to the four corners area to what is called big mountain when the Hopi and the Navajo the government was coming to take the land from them I don't think you, you were very young girl then and I went with some of us to stand with the Native American against the government. Yes, yes. We did not know what was going to happen to our lives, but this was my family. Yes. I had been in the Anipi with them. That's right. Come on. Come on. I went in what they call the sweat lodge with them. That's right. I saw when she took me to the Sundance, I, I saw my native brothers being pierced, yes. dragging through sand the heads of cattle and horses on his back. I said, oh, that's the principle of leadership. Mm -hmm. A leader has to suffer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to open a way for those whom he or she leads. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got to carry sometimes people on your back Come on. Mm. because they won't move until a leader leads them or a teacher teaches them or a mover moves them. Come on. Come on. That's what sitting bull was. That's right. That's right. Name me some of the great ancestors. Cold cheese. Cold cheese. Some, go ahead. Running deer. Crazy horse. Geronimo. These are your ancient ancestors. You can't be no punk and call them your ancestors. You walking around here timid. Come on, meow, meow. That's right. That's no, <laughs> we are strong. That's right. We are warriors. Yes. And this is a day that calls for us to be warriors one more time yeah. to yeah. produce That's a future right. for our children. Yeah.
Thank you for listening. I said I'm a lady. Now I think I have time for a few questions. Do I? Uh, if you want, I, I would suggest that if you could do it, so you, you have a, a meeting coming up, right? I have another one. Or then you have a, a, a call. Um, so I would suggest if you do just you know, real quick. Real quick. If, if that's a suggestion, sir. Yeah, no, it is a good suggestion. Yes, <laughs> well, let me see if anyone would like to ask a question on what you heard or anything, uh, I'm, I'm honored to receive your question, and I'll do my best to try and answer it faithfully. Anyone? Uh, Mr. Minister, what is it that you want to get your hand up about? What is it that you want to get your hand up about? What is it that you want to get your hand up about? Thank you. I want our indigenous people to represent their hurt and their pain before a government that has inflicted that pain. I want us to come together as a family to say to our government, we're not taking this anymore. It comes a time when we have to draw the line in the sand that we can't do this anymore.